Alright, as the title suggests, uh, this is just going to be a review for the uh, Fagerstrom electronic bagpipe, as you can see here. Uh, I'm going to keep this video as brief as possible, and I am not a professional YouTuber, so deal with the bad quality. Alright, so uh, I'm going to first show you the things that it comes with, or it doesn't come with, but I'm going to show you some accessories that I got. Alright, so you get this. This little, uh, it's like an amplifier. It works well. Um, I'd say if I were to give it a score from a 1 to 10, I'd give it an 8. If you guys have been looking for the Fragerstrom, you've probably seen this already. Um, the reason why I would give it an 8 is because uh, the swivel gets a little loose, and sometimes when you're moving the actual instrument uh, back and forth real quick, it can jar it, and for some reason throwing off your balance, it's, 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 um, it can really... It's weird. It's hard to explain, but also the bigger reason why I wouldn't give this uh, a super high score is because when you're using the record playback feature of the actual instrument, um, it doesn't do it right. I don't know how to say it. I'll show it to you. That's how. That's how I'll say it. Another thing that I got with it is a simple case. Works well. Small, compact, easy for travel, and whatnot. Uh, comes with these headphones. Right here. The headphones are phenomenal. They're cheap headphones, they work well. Um, the record playback feature works perfect with the headphones. This thing has some features. It has, which I'm sure you could find on the internet anywhere else. It has some features, you know, metronome, three different styles of uh, audio. It's got a bagpipe, Highland bagpipe, two different small pipes, which I'll show you. I'm thinking that this is the small pipe one that I'm about to play here, but I'm not so sure. I'm certain this is a small pipe, but I'm not sure. I, I think it sounds weird and funny, but I'll play it anyway. To show you a size comparison, this is the Fragerstrom next to my Gibson Practice Chanter Long. So long ones, you can see. There you go. You can see it. Yeah, you can see it. You, you get the point. There's some of the cons of the instrument. Let's start with those first. One is that the instrument seems to be confusing from time to time where in it sometimes it won't play or it won't play like a note for some reason and you're not entirely sure why it says you know your oiling and your fingers and stuff have to be uh, adequate which is like 99% of the time all right but for 1% of the time it gets confusing and you can't quite tell what the problem is Sometimes it's the oil, sometimes it's the battery. Um, I've like wiped it down and it didn't work and I changed the battery. So basically what I'm trying to say is it can have, you know, the same problem happen twice where it won't be responsive and the solution for each time will be different. It can get confusing and that can get annoying because sometimes you just want to play. But 99% of the time it's great. Now as far as the cons go, that's it. Another great thing about um, the instrument is the ease of use. You can pretty much pick this up and play it right away and it'll work fine. Um, but also it has a number of features that um, at first will seem a little intimidating because you have to use these weird uh, finger placements and you also have to touch these two uh, pads. So for example the volume up and down you would do your B, C, and D 
and you would push this for volume up and then push this for volume down. Something that's also um, worth noting is that it actually does have pretty good battery life. It can play for um, a couple of days and though I haven't actually counted the exact hours, I've played for, you know, uh, three hours, you know, like a day for a couple of days there and uh, one battery lasted which is pretty impressive because this isn't like some 9 volt battery or something it is actually a triple A battery that fits in here so I would say the battery life is pretty good on this thing too another thing that is um, important to note is that if say for example you're like a complete novice you've just now got into the bagpiping and you were looking for a chanter to play this isn't the best choice for you since the whole point of this is practice you would be getting better practice with an actual practice chanter and I say that because all you have to do is lightly tap these little sensor pads here that you see um, and that will make the note whereas you have to completely cover the whole entire hole on a practice chanter or the real bagpipe. The practice chanter with recessed holes does that on purpose so you can get used to that feel before you get the actual bagpipe, which will make it easier, hence practicing better. But this, however, does excel and far surpass the actual practice chanter in terms of helping you memorize tunes and uh, helping you play for a very long time without ever uh, you know making your lips tired or sometimes you get a little bit of a headache from the noise you can adjust the volume you, know, you can play this anywhere in the house and a train you can play it at a park I mean I wouldn't do that but you could do it and you wouldn't disturb anybody so as far as memorization of notes in the tunes and timing of notes in the tunes I would say that this is superior to a regular practice chanter but not a replacement because fingering is very important too you need both well you don't need both you need the practice chanter you don't need this if you want this you can get it it's fun and it's a great thing to have in your arsenal I like it though and I would I, I'm going to practice, I'm going to learn all my tunes, new tunes on this thing. It's great. I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm just going to say here that, first of all, the reason why this is a review and it hasn't had any, like, me playing it very much at all, well, that's because there's, like, a hundred other videos on YouTube of people playing it. You can go to one of them. I'm trying to give information to people that... I wanted when I was looking into purchasing this instrument. So with that being said, I'd like to end it by saying that this is a, a really good instrument, really fun to play, not a replacement to the practice chanter, but on the whole, I'd say if you got the money or if someone's willing to give it to you as a gift, um, definitely definitely go for it. You will not be sorry.